Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Leo and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are the true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you Leo, okay? This is for Leo, someone rising Venus in the North Node and um, of course it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you and I do offer same day personal readings. Um, everything you need to know is description box below. Thank you. Okay. All right. Sorry, I forgot to write a, a note for myself before I even pressed play. And I thought I did. And then I forgot to write it for myself. It's a task I have to do later. Um, hold on, Leo. Sorry. But does the person you're dealing with always make you feel like you have to wait? Like, do they make you wait a lot? Hold on, now I'm going to sneeze. I feel one. Bless you. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I don't even know how he... He always knows when I'm sneezing. He has his headphones on, like, you know what I mean? He always knows, though. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay, let's jump right in here with Oracle messages here with who you're dealing with first. Weird though, but did they make you wait a lot? Let's see. someone is just not able to let go and get over you i feel because right away we have wisdom okay wisdom recovery soulmate and then perseverance in reverse and then release in reverse so in friend family foe you know doesn't matter current person lover dating you know business i don't know who this is you know, best friend, but I will say here, Leo, that with this person, like they have the wisdom and the knowledge. They know what's going on. They like to keep to themselves too. They are in recovery possibly or getting some rest and sleeping and figuring out some things about the two of you, which is wonderful. Clearly, they feel like you guys are soulmates in any way, shape or form. A soulmate doesn't have to be anything love or romantic, you know, related or marriage. It could be platonic. It could be your dog. You know, little Doug. <laughs> it could be anything or anyone, but right there, it's like right after the soulmate energy, it's like they don't want to keep going though. They don't want to like push, like work for them, like push harder, like persevere with you, but they also can't seem to heal or release and let go of anything about you and them either. So let's see here. Okay, Leo. So this person might be living with you at home or this a lot of this is going to take place in their own home setting. So, uh, well, it looks like here, yeah, because things are very unstable for them here. Okay, but how they feel with you too here. So unfortunately, they keep looking at you like a greedy risk, like a negative like risk. For them, it's going to turn out bad. They don't know it. They don't care because they just hope that something can come through about this with you. But even they realize it's pretty messed up. They should probably like release, heal, let go, break up with you, walk away, get over it, move on. Um, that's what's causing a lot of like instability, a lot of messes in the home setting, a lot of problems, a lot of scammy, 
weird false fraudulent kind of stuff like it, it like it really isn't what it seems kind of energy here and then they actually end up working with life and making a huge life-changing choice about what they need to do about you and them and that caused them to want to go on some sort of journey and really move forward and think this through and maybe try to be healthier in life you know it could be um about themselves of course but maybe you and them and it could be with you or without you i'm not sure so i'm going to clarify here Yeah, this is well thought out. Okay, so they just want to. It's the crazy. What sucks is they'd rather be somewhere else. They'd rather have something their own way. But they want to just take a negative risk to keep trying to be here with you in some way, shape, or form. They are well aware of it. They know what they're doing. And there it is. Just kidding. Now they're like, well, fuck. Never mind. It's over. Yeah, it's done, Crosswatcher. So they're, they know the burden is over. It's done. They should drop it with you. And that's what's making them battle some pretty heartbreaking feelings right now. Some painful stuff about you and them the realization yeah and that's the thing so they've been keeping all this to themselves while they're at home the deception and the fuckery is at home and the home setting something about stability a home setting moving in with you trying to like use you for that i don't know um the thing is is like they keep to themselves and they're just stay quiet about what they're really thinking about at home here they're planning something um and that's what caused the instability and it is causing it Okay, so do they, do they travel? Do they, do they just get up and go? Relocate, travel? Does life progress and speed up? And then all of a sudden, life comes in to judge them? Either or, I don't know here. And instead, they want to be greedy and still hang on to everything that they have with you. I'm going to write that down for you. But make it look like it's a positive movement forward with the two of you. And it's not. Okay, and that's what I got for you here, Leo, unfortunately. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And wow, that's it. <laughs> well, I hope this helped you, Leo, because I know you've been dealing with a dumbass. All right, bye.